let's talk a bit more about assignment operators. All right, we found us back in Tiller once more, and we're going to continue with the Java introduction here for Minecraft modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about assignment operators. Now, we have already seen the major assignment operator, which is the normal assignment, which is just the equal sign over here, right? So, for example, int mana, let's say, right, is equal to 100. And then we can, for example, print this out and say mana is mana, and that is equal to 100. Awesome. There are a couple more assignment operators. So, for example, what we can do is we have the addition operator as an assignment that will be plus equals all in one go, which is basically if I were to write mana plus equals 20, let's say, that is the same as if I were to say mana equals mana plus 20. So if I were to print out mana afterwards, then what I would get is actually, of course, 100 plus 20, which you will see is 120. Pretty cool. This is just a shorthand. Now you can, of course, also write mana equals mana plus 20. And what you could also do, if you only wanted to increase this by one, you can also write mana plus plus, and that also works. However, that is only going to increase it by one. So that would be equal to mana plus equals one or mana equals mana plus one. And just to be sure that this is actually the case, let's also print this out. So this is going to be mana. There you go. And printing that out is going to reveal to us 121. Pretty cool. Now, the same thing works with subtraction, and that's, of course, going to be minus equals, and that works like this. So minus equals 60, for example, is going to be subtracting 60 from our 121. So we're going to end up with 61. Awesome. And I can do the same trick over here as well. I can do mana minus minus, and then, of course, once again, it's just going to subtract one of them. And those are actually quite important for the coming uh, tutorials over here. So the plus plus and the minus minus and the other assignment operators are, of course, also quite important so that you at least have seen those before. You might be a little bit confused if you see the construction for the first time. We can, of course, also multiply over here with times equals. So that is going to be mana times equals two, let's say, and we can print this out as well. There we go. And that one then will get us back to 120. Now, in this case, the uh, times times uh, that does not work because, well, I mean, that makes not that much sense. Now, you could say, well, maybe I wanted to square it, right? So mana squared, but that you should use the pow method from the math class. Continuing with this, we can also divide. So that's going to be divide equals. Now, that is a one that you rarely really see. So let's divide it by four, let's say, and also print this out. Let's say mana is going to be mana over here. And what we'll find is that we'll go from 120 to 30 over here. Divide equals is, like I said, very rarely seen in the wild, let's say. But it's still, of course, useful and very important to know. And the last one that I don't think I've ever seen before, but it probably has been used somewhere, is the remainder over here, which actually is just percentage equals. So you can immediately just save in the modulo over here. That's percentage equals, let's say, 2. And with that, we basically immediately save whether or not this is a even or odd number, because if it is zero, then that is going to be an even number. And what we'll find is that we'll end up with zero. So our mana is now depleted. However, we know that it was even before. And those are the different types of assignment operators. Very important definitely is addition, subtraction, multiplication. So the first three over here, and of course the normal one as well. And of course the plus plus and the minus minus. Because those are actually going to be used quite significantly in some of the future tutorials and lessons there. So that is why I basically wanted to introduce you to all of them, even if you prefer to write it out like this, right? Mana equals mana plus 20. That's totally fine. But some other programmers, which you will inevitably have to read, might use this one rather than the long version. So then you will still need to know what all of this craziness is. But that's already it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll control the flow with if and switch statements and basically supercharging our programming. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.